In the previous episode, we completed the reciprocal roof on the underground earth bag Muse Art Studio. The guys decide to start from the bottom up. They head inside and downstairs to start the soil cement floor. Price, what do you think about getting a level? You know, do the same thing you did there, just for. With Garen gone, the dynamics change. From the two places. <laughs> exactly the way I thought it should be done. So I kind of muscled my way in. It just kind of looked like the ground was that way, so if we kind of. Pull this dirt this so I had to kind of step back and say, hey, you know, Bri can do it. We set the grade by taking two bricks for our leveling and putting one in the center of the floor and at the seal of the door, and then we leveled it from the seal to the middle of the room. I'm positive take some dirt out. Alright. We want to have the right grade, the right amount of dirt, so that when we put it in the cement, everything gets mixed in there. We don't have to pull anything out. There he is. It's fortunate to have our buddy Marvin come out and uh, help again. Uh, this time we had him wield a shovel. <laughs> and so we didn't have much to work on carpenter stuff. Uh, it was great to have him. He was a big help. He was huge. We've been just checking all the access over there and taking it up later. It's our connection fit system to get the dirt out. So, you have to help me. I've joined the Marvin, Bryce, and Shea team. Yeah. Oh, is he trying to pull it up, Reed? He's trying to pull. He's trying to help you. Okay. Diesel, pull on it. Go that way. Come on, Diesel. Good boy, pull. pull. So you happy with it? Yeah. I've done we, this every time. Can we turn this entire thing? I turned the whole thing by shovel first and then you guys did the till. The young guy in the room, uh, Bryson, was able to like do twice as much work for us because, you know, we're seasoned carpenters, you know, and so we weren't as apt at a shovel as he was. So, Poor but, workman blames his tools. I'm not blaming and... the shovel, I'm just blaming the bodies of the two old guys that you are working with. You didn't know you are coming over for this, did you, Marvin? No. Yeah. <laughs> There's something really enjoyable about that. And so it's yeah. typically one to nine, but we're doing a little bit thicker for the floor. So our teller can take about four inches. And if we put up three quarters of an inch or so on the top of the dirt, it mixes it right in. We've done three bags of uh, about 94 pounds of uh, cement down here. All right, Marvin, we're done down there for a while. Where well, the rotor tiller can't really get into, we actually go around the edges and just pre-mix it up there. Which doesn't look like a lot of cement in here. Get, get I mean, do you think that's okay, Dan? This looks really skimpy here. Okay, now let's get in the back. My old homestead shirt. They're cool and exciting. And mine's gonna get all dusty and dirty now. And then as we're rototilling it, we usually have someone with a hose spraying water down to kind of dampen it so we can kind of mix in. So we use the water to actually dampen and keep the dust down at the same time. And then I got a chance to spray Bryson every now and then, which was fun. He only did it once, surprisingly. Yeah. I expected more. The cement itself is activated by applying water to it. Um, and then having the soil mixed in is the binders. I know when we lived in the city, you know, we were putting the kids in activities, which is great. Activities are great. Mm -hmm. But I think those moments that we spend working alongside each other, 
are probably the most valuable moments mm -hmm. we have with them. Mm -hmm. Yes. It allows us to build that relationship with them. Mm -hmm. You know, they get to see too how we handle problems and or how we don't handle problems very mm -hmm. well. So they'll see some of our mistakes and they'll see that we're not as perfect as we think we are. So it's it's humbling and it's enjoyable because you're sharing and the kids get something out of it. I get something out, I learn all the time. Yeah, you, you're a good leveler. I mean, with dad, not kicking dad out, just helping. Feet rock. We get to see how our kids handle stressful situations. Shoot. What? The rock bent the time. Yeah. Um, handle situations when they're tired. Um, it just allows us these moments to intervene. Try this again. I'm almost done with my crop circle, dog. Yeah. Yeah. We hit another rock? Yes. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> That's huge. <laughs> when the kids are helping out to make a conscious effort to say what's more important here, the relationship is more important than how perfect the walls are or how perfect the floor is. Mm -hmm. Call that done, eh? Okay, now we gotta focus on leveling it. Right? Right. Well, I don't know, I'm just trying to get the big rocks out here. If you wanna come help pick out the big rocks. Yeah, I'm just resetting this. The brick is the important part. And then when we're all done, we level it again. And then we tamp it. This feels like a floor. And then we don't usually want it too wet because if it gets too wet when we go to tamp it, it gets all sticky on the tamp. And so we, we get it sort of damp. Really damp. And it would really stick to this thing. It's all start watering this now. Thanks, Fry. When you order cement, it comes in a big truck, it's already pre-mixed. You pour it, let it set, it dries, and you're done. With this kind of a application, you have to get the water sprayed on. You gotta get this real good soaking uh, so that that gets right in there at that four inch level where we have gone down with artillery. Thanks for a good, good pour, nice and solid. And let it soak, spray on some more, let it soak, and then it cures slowly over three days. It's day three, so we're wetting it down now for the last time. Just the edges are really wet. Jesus, you're gonna get me in trouble. Don't make any paw prints. Quick, quick. Stay tuned next time when we, well, not sure yet. Thank you. Great, great ingenious invention. Was it the Greeks that? Invented cement? I don't know. Yeah. A lot of our Mr. Cement. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Like Portland. Mr. Portland uh, cement. Cementy Portland. Cementy cement cementy? Cementy Portland. Cement standing as cement? Mr. Portland invented cement. Was Portland cement made in Maine or Oregon? Oh, no. Neither. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So um now <laughs> Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Please consider supporting us on Patreon. So Garen isn't gone, so it took us a little bit longer than usual. We didn't realize how much of a worker he really is until he's gone. Mm -hmm. If you're watching this, hurry back. <laughs> <laughs> While you're skiing. Just, just ski put your it on way your back. phone and just like watch it as you're going down the slopes. Yeah, actually put a jump at the end of the slopes and point it towards our house and just go full speed down that. <laughs> we'll put some rockets on the back of it, it'd be cool. And he'll just fly back. <sighs> parts have arrived for the drone that we're gonna build. So we have these parts and then we're gonna take some parts out of this broken phantom. When I say we, I really mean me. <laughs> there is hope, we'll definitely get it working. We might have to buy more parts, but we'll definitely get it working. Mm -hmm.